Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Marvel's Avengers. So the last episode was just crazy guys. Thor actually came in to save the day. Because the helicarrier was basically under attack from Modok. I guess you can call him Modok because he's basically big head small body now. But it was under attack by Modok. We'd gone to do this mission called Agony and the Ant Hill basically helping out Hank Pym and he's gonna help us go to space because we found out that their secret lab for testing inhumans was in space. So we're trying to get there. Turns out we can't. Hank Pym's gonna help us. Please it's gonna be crazy. This is a social call. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I'd like to socialize with a few of your Pym particles. Need to shrink down and accelerate. <sighs> well, then you'll need to break into a high security aim facility. Wow, really? Ever heard of Meridian? Meridian? Oh, dude, that again. sounds like it's that intense. No joke. Widow? I gotta say. You give a hell of a speech when you're pissed at us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. At the end of the last episode, she she we gave like a inspirational I'm... speech, Ms. Marvel did. As much as I love your squirming, it sounds like we've got work to do. I can get us to Meridian. Us? We're in this together, right? No time to lose. Good. I'd rather more companions than none. Because those solo missions, they are tough on you, dude. Does that mean I get to pick any hero? Oh, let's go. I hate how every time you, it pops up, it says Avengers Assemble. There's literally nothing you can do about it. So yeah, I'm going to request both of them. I feel like maybe I should go with Hulk. But I'm going go with Iron Man because there's a part of his iconic hero quest that I need to do. Which isn't that difficult. Dude, I love seeing those Obsidian nameplates pop up. It's so clean. It's not difficult. I need to do it to use the Unibeams and stuff. Captured. They haven't figured out how to use the particles, but... They'll be well protected. Okay, there aren't a lot of ways into Meridian. I think our best bet will be to hijack one of their hyper circuit trains and take oh, it directly cool. to the heart of the the... I, I can hack the trains, but it'll leave the anthill exposed. Aim will be able to pinpoint our location. You'll need to hurry. Crap. So we go in loud and smash the base up. Good. I prefer the direct approach. Well, I mean, Hulk's right there as well, so Hulk would love it. <laughs> you can only imagine all these heroes in their obsidian outfits. I'm just sticking with the normal default outfit just for the story. But then with the post launch content and stuff, I'm just mixing up the outfits, dude. Like when the Kate Bishop Hawkeye story comes out, I'm, if they have any outfits, dude, I'm rocking them. Well, Nat, Hopefully they give them obsidian outfits. The coordinates of the hyper I wonder if Spider Man has a post launch story. Because I know he's going to be added, but I don't know if he has a story. Sucks for the Xbox and PC users, though. Because, you know, Spider Man's PS4 exclusive. <laughs> so, how many super secret research bases does AIM have? Yeah, I'm not going for the optional objectives. I've done that for the main part of the story, just because I want to get the story over and done with. Because I'm pretty sure you can replay missions once you've done anyway, so... I mean, there's nothing really special out of these optional objectives anyway, besides a few faction point upgrades and chests that give you common gear. And common gear is the best. You know I can still hear you, right? Uh oh. oh crap, man. We did it again. <laughs> Sorry. Changing channels. Haha, <laughs> that's tough, dude. There's the hyper circuit station. It's protected by a force field. Destroy the field's it power is? source and I'll hack into their system to call a train. Understood. Well, I guess I just do what I'm doing? Like. Or I go around here. Oh, I go around here and it makes it easier because it's exposed. That's not good. I don't like the sound of that. Running into some serious the here. I need more time. God damn it, him. This first be smart. Oh good gosh. I hope nothing like what happened in the last episode happens with Thor. Because basically it triggered like a death animation, but I didn't die. So I was stuck there and I had to reload the checkpoint. It wasn't too much of a biggie, the only problem was the loading screen, because loading screen takes forever. But it's just painful, dude. I, didn't even, I thought it was a part of the story when it happened, but then you sort of realize it's not. Alright, look at this elite peacekeeper. I think he's elite like that. Oh, oh these ones, these elite synthoids are so annoying. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, Tony, I know you're not doing so well, dude. Better freaking die. I feel like with Tony's 
I can call him Tony. I should call him Iron Man. But I feel like with Iron Man, he's flying, like, in the transition from flying to hovering and back. Sort of a bit clunky at times. I say at times, but it's not always like that. Don't get me wrong. Come on, I need this headshot for my... There you go, look at that. 4 of 16. So many more to go. Not a headshot. I'm gonna count it as a headshot if it crits. God damn it. Plus if it pops off. There you go. This is only his first step to his iconic quest. It's not hard. You still need to use like 7 Unibeams and 16 headshot kills, but the fact that you need headshot kills, you need to like precisely aim it and also your companions just can't get in your way, dude. I'm right, gonna gang up on this adaptoid. <laughs> I don't like how they bring out more death boots now. It is very scary. But the whole place is on alert now. We'll deal. Choo choo. Choo choo. Really, Tony? Yes, really. I can't help myself. Aim units on radar. Is he here, or do I need to do something? The other side might help, actually. Ah, it is. Because there's stairs here. Just in case you can't fly like me. Beepity boopity bop. And here we are on the train. <laughs> Security clearance expected, Dr. Belova. Please board at your leisure. Belova? One of my old aliases. Belova, eh? Dude, that's so sick. And I know my lighting is just terrible, by the way. Look like, like how bad it is, dude. I'm recording part three to this part at the moment, all in like one sitting, basically. Just one after the other after the other. It is just crazy, like, you can see my eyes, guys, like, my eyes are crazy. <laughs> but basically, I'm just recording them all in one sitting, because I just love this game so much. So, I mean, the lighting is just being good at the start, but then bad, because, you know, night time and everything doesn't really help with the lighting. But I did say in, like, a previous episode that I should be getting better lighting soon, so... It should be more consistent and a well... A well better? A hell of a lot better. But I gotta fly through these things, dude. I'm trying to avoid all of them, I don't need to fight them. Uh oh. I know one's hitting me, which is actually surprising. Oh god. Okay, I'm sending Theo, one of my operatives, through to your location. Fear. You I love Theo. I know who Theo is, by the way, Dr. Hank Pym. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Oh, I can still. Alright. Usually when you get hit, it stops the action, but I guess not. That, that was actually very quick. Which is actually what I wanted to do. Holy moly. Oh, I'm leveling up. And I got an emote. So I guess you get an emote for every hero at level 5, it seems like. It's a cue with area. There you go. I used my Unibeam. Pew! And now I'm using Hulkbox. <laughs> oh, man. It is so sick using Hulkbox. I just went over like a mastery and specialty stuff. Like off camera to see what they were. And that actually seemed way better than I thought. So you don't actually pick one mastery skill tree. You pick like one thing from it. Pew pew! Like there's three things you can pick from. From the mastery tree. Oh, alright, let's go. Don't worry. What? Come on, let's go. You won't need it on the front ah, lines. Herb Theory. Hold tight. I'm in my whole right. buster suit. I'm just chilling. It looks so much different compared to the beta. Like, that's way more golden. I love it. Ah, good. Stand down. I was talking about something before and I forgot what I was talking about. Dude, I hate it when that happens. Uh. Why are we here? Oh, we're supposed to be defending the ant hill. That's right, because. The train exposed it. Avengers, yep. get out there and buy us some time. What the hell's going on? Just keep it busy. I'll join you when Locate I can. Locate the warbot. Oh, of course, there's a warbot. ominous. All right, the Avengers are here. Let's do this. Damn. Oh, is this a boss? will be through in a matter of minutes. Then let's take it up. Bro, what the heck? This thing is gigantic. That has to be a weak point, dude. Oh, there you go. Get rid of the turrets. I feel like that's what I have to do first. Oh, just keep dodging. 
good thing is that I feel like we have unlimited dodges. Oh, we'll cuck up there. What is it doing? Target the vents on its leg. Oh my god, this reminds me of that villain sector in the Beto. Come on, Tony. Arr, what are you doing? Why'd you fly up there, Tony? You idiot, dude. Let's put the gun these vents. I'm pretty sure they're exposed for a certain amount of time. At this warbot. Oh god, it's not losing a lot of health. There you go. Unibeam. Oh my god, did you guys see that damage? It took it like all at once. That was insane. Now, let me get rid of these other turrets on the other side. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Good thing is that I can fly above all of its attacks. Which, I mean, you know my other companions can do that. So good thing that chose Tony. I mean Iron Man. I don't know why I keep calling him Tony. I've got to get rid of all of these ones. This is exactly like that villain sector, dude. Except this robot is way bigger and scarier. Wait, is it is it down or do I still have to get rid of the vents? Uh it is not down. I think this is the last one. No? Wait, what? It was knocked down before, dude? I didn't know that! I did not know that at all! Oh! Oh, I'm doing damage to it! Alright, these things must be good for damage. I love how there's some sort of a lock on where you do attack these things. Sometimes it's a pain because it locks onto different things like before it locked onto a turret instead of the vent. But I mean regardless, it's still pretty sick because it helps you transition from air to ground and back again. This makes it more seamless and better. Easier, that's what I'm going to say. Bro, I cannot imagine playing this mission as someone else. Oh, there you go. He's down. Where's everyone else? We need to all use our abilities at once. Marla, Hulk, Black Widow, bro, this health goes down by so much every time the head goes down, I love it. Ah, it is going Super Saiyan, which is funny. Ah, oh, I hate the knockdown. I should probably stop mindlessly swinging because I don't really think it's anything to hit. I swear I just gained health, or someone gained health. Please don't say I have to destroy all these vents. See how many freaking dogs there are. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, let's go around the other side. Get rid of one leg, near the other. Don't ambush the ant hill. There's too many ants in there. Ants being us. It's so funny how Ant Man slash Hank Pym, because it's not Ant Man anymore. But he said that he didn't come up with the idea of Antu. Which I find hard to believe. <laughs> See, I reckon I might add Wasp before Ant-Man. Because he did say that apparently if he shrinks, he'll die. So maybe there won't be an Ant-Man. But I reckon there might be a Wasp though. I mean, there might be. Because everyone thought Tim Barton was coming in first. When it turns out Kate Bishop actually is coming out first and then it's Glen Barton. Oh god. Is there something up here I can defeat? Oh, there is! Let's go! Dude, I love making sound effects as well. <laughs> I feel like a little kid when I play this game. Oh god. There you go, that's one down. Get rid of these turrets. They're freaking flamethrowers. Let me use my EMP thing. Oh god, damn it, dude! Oh, this thing's here. <laughs> I think I do have to get rid of all these, which is a pain. I have to fly to all of them. Oh, look at the damage just doing to the ground, dude. Oh, this is so tedious. I can't use Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster can't fly. I need to like shoot it because it's got that little electric thingy. 
Dagger, this is gonna be the final blur. Oh, Dagger, look at that. Stuff's going down. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I'm happy about that. Let me just sit back and relax. <laughs> In your face, Ace. Uh, sir, I'm detecting a massive teleport signature. Oh, what the heck, dude? Damn it. No. Heck, evacuate the Ed Hill now. Another one. So. Hank, that doesn't look ready. What is that? Tony, live a little. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No way, he created a little Pim particle gun. Congratulations, Dr. Pim. That's so sick. has an impressive new weapon. It's sort of cute when they're small. <laughs> Maybe Thanks, this will guys. be the Hank Pim that's actually a part of the Avengers. Just uses his gun. Who knows, dude? They're like at this point you just speculate off the top of your head. <laughs> Adept buff repulsor and a lock cosmetic Thanks for Iron Man. There. Let's the pin go, you need dude. transported to the Chimera. And it's rank 20. Thanks, Doc. I know you won't listen, but I'll say it anyway. Be careful. I'll do my best. Bro, let's go, man. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting that. Usually legendaries are hard to get, but I guess with these mission chains, they become easier. 100% chance of feeding an enemy with a range critical attack grants a defense buff. Oh my god, and I get Pim Particle Transformer. It is so good, dude! My first legendary gear! Well, for now, anyway. Well, I did say it was my first, so I don't know why I'm talking so much. <laughs> uh, let me get these rockets, because rockets are kind of nice. Right, let's continue the campaign, dude. We're still supposed to be going to space, by the way. Uh, I'm clicking continue. Thank you. I don't know why that takes a long time. Ah, dude. I want to play Thor again. We only got to play as him for a little bit, and he's like, I don't know. I don't know if he joined, though. I think he did. We got a little trophy for it. I don't know, man. Ugh. That was actually a pretty sick mission, dude. I wasn't expecting him to whip out a freaking pin particle gun. Like a shrink ray. You can only imagine what he's going to use that on. I've got a feeling he's going to probably use it and it's going to backfire somewhere in this story. You can just tell. Bro, these loading screens are such a pain. Here are the chronicles <laughs> Dr. Pym promised. Good luck, Iron Man. Thanks. I'm, uh, gonna need it. Bro, what is wrong with that mouse? Their mouse don't move sometimes. It's actually creepy. <laughs> Oh, so everyone's here now, and we fixed the helicarrier from the Hulk vs. Exactly Iron Man fight. Meet me in the tech lab, kid, and see for yourself. Oh, so that's the cosmetic we got. Let's Thanks, go. Man. Yes, let's go. Oh my god, dude. From what I remember from like the comics and stuff, Star Boost just looks sick. Oh. Oh, never mind. I got a freaking. Oh, okay. I got a pretty neat looking Hulk outfit. I thought. That that cosmetic was a start boost, but I guess not. All right, Every so let's go over here. Oh no! All right, hold on. But with oh, this oh. new miniaturized <laughs> accelerator, I have a shot. Oh, ooh, ah! That's actually pretty cool, dude. It's not in here, and I am. Oh, it's this thing! I thought this thing broke because I tried to use it earlier. That's what it's used for. It's not actually a vault. I thought it was. Oh, that's sick. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I knew it looked sick, dude. I remember this armor. Because it is awesome. <laughs> exactly. One point four billion dollar vanity project. It may incinerate on. Holy crap! Damn good doing it. Haha. <laughs> uh, so we're going to space right now. Like, like right this second. Are in the green, sir. I must warn you, a large storm system has moved into your direct flight path. Never rains, but it pours. 
<laughs> well, we can't wait any longer. Oh, dude, that looks so sick, dude. Hey, the white and gold. I loaded up some music to give you a little boost. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not mine. Oh, you can that do makes it even better then. Thanks, kid. It must be part of his list. Okay. Because he has like top Three, five songs or two, something. One. Okay, so, uh, ooh, holy crap. Flight of Icarus. I hope this isn't copyright. Let's go, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, this is reminds me of the movies. Tony, oh, let's go. Right into the storm system. I see it, kid, but you don't it. hurry back now. Oh, oh so, so sweet. Okay. Dude, this is so fun. Oh, God. It's so hard to control this thing, dude. Go left. Head down. I'm trying, dude. Do you know how hard control this job is? Bro, the music it makes it like so uplifting, like you know, you're going through a storm. It makes it so sick. This must be one of those top five songs to beat people's butts, dude. Oh, crap. Like no, dude. No, 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 no. Uh, well, it looks like we're making it though. It seems like we're in outer space right now. Jarvis, I'm on fire! A deck booster! No. Oh, there's a space station. Gotta do a manual! Crap. Oh, wow. Ho oh, ho, let's go, dude! Bro, let's go though. This actually looks pretty, dude. It's not good that he's like struggling. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know if we're running out of oxygen, I think we are. Holy crap, dude. I didn't know we were struggling. That's how we were. Well, now we're in space, and I guess Tony's stranded there. Perfect landing. Okay. Well, uh, here we are. Not much juice left in these repulsors. Ah, uh, I gotta feel about to fight someone. Isn't with guards. Hopefully, dude. Unparalleled view. Yeah, well, space is pretty crazy. Ah, what's this? I forgot we're in an aim territory. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Wait a minute. Well, this doesn't make sense. Oh, what is this? Blood samples. Formula. That'll explain Tarleton's giant head. <laughs> it really does, though. That's its source. Probably some unfortunate inhuman. Okay, let's find that door. Oh, so they're actually just keeping an inhuman trap. No sweat. Rescue that inhuman. No more regen formula. No more adaptoids. <laughs> High fives all around. Oh. Okay, I thought we had to jump across, but I guess not. Can I go down? Uh, can I please go down? Jeez, that was weird, dude. I thought I couldn't go down there for a second. I was like, I'm holding the button. And it just would work. <laughs> Anyone home? Uh, this looks like a bunch of enemies are going to be here. I'm going the wrong way. Covered in space dust. This place. Oh. Does not get a lot of foot traffic. Oh, so no one's here. Good. Uh oh, my stuff popped up, which means we're going oh, to fight someone. Only way is up. Bro, I actually love this suit, even though it's like burnt and everything. It looks sick. Purple isolate. Ooh, something new. I really do got a feeling we have to fight I'm people in here. Oh, hey. You oh, God. <laughs> He's like, oh, you mean me? That didn't wake up the Robo Guards. Not sure anything will. Oh, don't say that, Tony. Wait, there's more after hit? Oh. Q. 
Okay, we'd have to go in here. I hope there's no Russian robot people, dude. Didn't wake up the robot guard dogs. Maybe they're here to keep something in. Not that. Oh, probably the person they're using for the regenerative formula. Game, can I go down again, please? There it is. Right, that's a bit weird, a bit clunky, dude. I don't like that. Sometimes it feels like you can hold down circle to go down, and other times it feels like you have to actually aim down. Well, uh, we're gonna see who's behind here. Bingo. Ah, uh, this isn't good, dude. It's very cold, man. <laughs> Please don't, dude. It's not ominous at all. I'm scared. It's glowing. Uh, who is that? Oh my god. Cap. What? That's Captain America? So he's not dead. Oh, please be alive. Bro. Oh See, my god, they must be taking a super you... soldier serum out of him. Holy shit, you're alive. Tony. Holy crap. So what really did happen on the helicarrier on A-Day then? Tony? Huh. Are you hugging me? <laughs> yes. I, no, I, I don't your fall. <laughs> so he must not you have any go? recollection. And I just... Embrace it. <laughs> we thought... I mean, I thought that... We thought you died. It's good to have you back, Captain. I'm so confused. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Oh, he still remembers. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares? What? The explosion, he was too close. He survived. Secret Q Thanks outfit. To you, apparently. And Monica. Oh, I get to play as Captain America now, dude. Let's go. Sense. Oh, God. Okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. Dude, what the heck? I'm good. Let's do this. So they were sucking out his Can't super soldier remember? serum. Come on. That's definitely what okay. they were doing, dude. What's the plan? Oh my god. Uh, well, we find an escape pod and uh, escape. I'm so confused about how You're they actually this. got him and how he didn't die. Yes, yes I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. I'm uh, regaining feeling. That's good. Oh, there you go. Where's here? <laughs> oh, we're well, in space. Ah, oh, okay, so you can double jump. My God, you weren't kidding. Nope. Oh my God, why is he popping up these tutorials, dude? I know how it works, and that's actually pretty sick how he can do that. Wow, like riding a bike. I guess. <laughs> He's been out of it for five years, but mentally he hasn't. Oh gosh. What's happening? Well, it's a long story. It really is a long story. It's a five-year-long story, story, but how? No. Well, five years. Which, by your standards, is just <laughs> a policy. I'm starting to think people just prefer me on ice. <laughs> that, that is true, though. Already making jokes. Corny ones, but that's normal for you. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was stuck in ice for however long. So five years is like nothing. Oh, crap. What is this? Leave us just yet. Monica? Monica long time no see. Is this live or is this pre-recorded? Thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this, and he never will. Oh! Oh crap! Uh oh! I think we made her mad. Oh! Tony, I'm working on it. All right, got it. Let's go. All right, I think that's a skateboard right ahead of us. I could be wrong. I'm glad there's what no the enemies hell? around. Oh, don't mind the killer robots. Oh, never mind. I lied. Bro, that scene right there is from one of the war tables, like the first war table that they did. That one scene. All right, they're all level one out, which is good. I have an intrinsic, but I don't know what it is. How? Why didn't you start with that? 
I don't have my shield, so I'm not really Captain America. Oh, dude. I have no range, so I literally have to have to brawl this kid. Oh, no, he's not a kid. He's a sick dog. You know what I mean. Oh. Is that laser? Oh, that's Tony. No, it's not. It is. Damn thing is jammed. Help me out here. Grab the other side. Well, this is a nice thing to do after a five year long nap. <laughs> Just straight escape a space station that's about to explode. We got company. Um, no time for a fight. Yeah, there's way too many of them, dude. Oh god, they're flying. Oh, that's not fun. This means I can fly. No, it does not mean I can fly. Oh, dude, that somersault jump is nice. It is so good to use. Oh god, dude, that's so tricky. Alright, go, 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 go. I don't even know where we're going, that's the thing. Ah, oh, you, bro. I was on that, but it just didn't trigger the wall run animation. That is so annoying, dude. Like, I was on that. I was, even though I was at the bottom of it, I accidentally used my somersault jump because I didn't think the bottom where I should have landed was actually going to help me land. But the fact that Captain America was alive is just outstanding. Obviously, a lot of people knew he was going to be alive because he was in the he was a part of the pre-order thing. Like, if you pre-order him, you literally get his obsidian outfit. So, everyone knew he was going to be alive. Oh, that's so dumb, dude. I was on the wall. Oh. This is actually kind of hard, guys. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> this is more difficult than I thought. For some weird reason. But come on, dude. Like, ah... But they really didn't hide Captain America's death that well. Like, they literally put him in the pre-order for the game. So everyone was like, oh, is he dead? Is he alive? It's like, nah, he's alive. I didn't think he'd be alive like this, so... Bro oh, I'm just trying to tell something to the audience game. Everyone that's watching, I'm trying to tell something. But of course the game doesn't want me to hit the wall. That's so dumb, dude. That's the third time. Like, I'm... Hitting the wall! Like, I'm supposed to be wall running, but no, he just wants to fall through the station and believe he can fly. Like, come on, man, you're not Iron Man. Alright, let's nail it this time, dude. Like, I'm actually getting sick of repeating it over and over again. It's like with boss fights. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna fail it. I thought I waited too late to do the double jump. Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, of course, improvise with the shield. Oh, that's so dope, dude. We still have the shield. Oh, that is a rocky escape. Just lost the engines. Don't eat. Uh, yeah, yeah, we get it. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Everything around them shuts down, so now it's floating in space, right? Well, I still want to know what happened to Captain America. Well, good news is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. Huh. And the bad news? We're stuck. We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. Ah, well that's nice. We have to escape just for him to die. Uh, at least it's a good view. That it is. Dude, this reminds me of Damn Endgame so much, where Tony Stark dies. So close. Bro, he doesn't die in space, but it reminds me of the first scene where he's just chilling in space. <sighs> Obviously, we all know how he dies. we're gonna die anyway, you have any... I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. <laughs> what? I read your diary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess this is a good time to catch up then. Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. Oh, that is not good. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. 
Damn, dude. So, are we going to discover what that is then? How did you for a second? Just had to hear it. <laughs> so that's what was pulling down the Chimera. The hell is that? Thor! Oh! Well, look who it is. Am Bro, I look at the outfit. It looks so good. I expect nothing less from the <laughs> God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. <laughs> Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. I'm surprised, like, he's not, like, shocked or anything. He's not, like, freaking out. I was like, Captain. Ah, yes. Haha, <laughs> Monaco, you must be very sad. No more testing for you. No more adaptoids. And I think Murdoch is... Yeah. This was your regenerative formula. George? Mm-hmm. He's Murdoch now. How long have I been your lab rat? Yep, look, it switched to Murdoch. Oh my god, dude. Like this. Look at the you transformation, dude. I trusted you. Oh, he looks so ugly. Save your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all the You infected me with his blood. So, it could have killed he's like me. half Captain America, half not, except it turned out wrong. <laughs> he's not like ripped or anything. He is a free. Look at him, dude. How could you make me one of them? I made you how did he not guess that he was becoming like inhuman though? And now I am going to give oh. you the same odds that I had. Oh my god, is he making her inhuman? Oh gosh, dude. Oh my god, her eyes are changing. Is she becoming that clone lady? The earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. Dude, what the heck? Is she gonna like transform into some like insane? Oh no, she's dead! Oh, her body rejected it. Okay, I thought she was gonna become like a super powered inhuman. Hey there, old friend. Bro, that's so sick. Hey, he's got his suit right there with the helmet on. That is cool. <laughs> Natasha, hi. <laughs> Stay. Nah. I guess no one actually saw Captain America hop on. Good to see you. They're not gonna like hug it out. Listen, if I had known you were alive, that they had you. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? A day. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. Oh, but why? His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. Oh, now they're figuring it out, dude. But that thing in the bay. That was pulling towards. That was the heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? Oh, now we're going to have to figure that out. I don't know. Nat, I, I just keep thinking. If I hadn't. All those people. No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I oh, knew it. well, that's not a fangirl. Steve's gonna be like, uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Ha. <laughs> oh, that's so sick, though, because on A Day, Kamala met both of them like that. Like, they were talking to each other. But that's actually so sick. Ah, Jarvis. Yes, I am alive. Welcome back, Captain Rogers. I know I speak for everyone when I say that you are a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. I was going full leader mode, which is actually pretty cool to see. 
Oh, oh, oh new hero available, Captain we America. For our final confrontation <laughs> <with Amy. laughs> I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Complete the Stark Excellent, Tech sir. Outfits assignment. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts. Due ooh, to Aang's draconian control over world Bro, look how sick the helicarrier looks now. How can we help? They have requested we destroy Aang's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Iconic mission chain available. Speaking of uh, media, so cool, dude. reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex same scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping Wait, up on that, the news. He is? This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP. New hero available. Let's go. <laughs> That's so cool. So now we have every hero unlocked and every iconic hero mission available for us. That is so sick. He said this is our final showdown though, so this next mission is our final one it seems. Oh dude, that's actually sad as. Harvest energy amplifiers from fallen prime synthoids. Optic decoders from fallen riot bots and memory chips from fallen synthoids. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode off here guys. It was insane, dude. Who thought Captain America was going to be alive? Well, I mean, obviously I did, but, you know, not just me. Uh, plenty of other people as well, because, you know, with the pre-order, they did show Captain America. And, you know, also right here with the virtual training stuff, Captain America's there. So, you know, of course, he's alive. <laughs> That's pretty sick, dude. So I might do this stuff off camera, like just the grinding stuff. But I'm pretty sure the next mission is the last mission, unfortunately. I did tell you guys that the story's going to be very short. But man, like, the story so far has been insane. Like, I've got nothing but praise for it. Like, it is, wow. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably try to get this grinding stuff done off camera because it's not going to be exciting. It's not a mission. But then as soon as I unlock that mission, I will definitely show it to you guys because that'll probably be the final one where we probably go up against Modoc. So, I mean, that's actually going to be insane, dude. Like, oh my God. And then of course, afterwards, the post launch, I'm going to do all this stuff. And then when the DLC comes out for Hawkeye and stuff, I'll be doing that, so it's just, it just seems like it's going to be insane, dude. Like, oh my god, Captain America here. Let's check out his outfits real quick. Yeah, see, look at this. So, I mean, obviously you have the secret kill one. Frontline, which is what you get for pre-ordering, which actually looks pretty sick. And then you have the obsidian one, which is obviously like, come on now, dude. I kind of wish the shield changed, but regardless, it still looks pretty sick. You have some takedowns, and of course the nameplates, dude. When you look at all the Obsidian nameplates together, it looks sick. Man, I it's kind of sad how it would come to an end already, dude. Like, the story is, like, so close to the end. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. It's just going to be so exciting to see how the story plays out, especially towards the end. The story so far has been great. But again, it, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. I appreciate all of it. And yeah, very, very excited for the next episode, guys. That'll be the final episode. I have recorded this episode. Well, I recorded a lot of episodes back to back. So from part three to this part, which I believe is part seven, I recorded them basically all back to back to back to back to back. So you guys will see like the lighting getting darker in my videos and just me looking tired and everything. I'm very sorry about that. But regardless, I've just been loving this game. So the next episode should be insane because it will probably be the final one. I'm so excited, I can't stop talking. <laughs> but again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. See you all in the next one.